What's up, everybody? It's just another Average Stacker, and we are back for another half dollar hunt. I am currently just got into Ohio from Maryland, and on the way up here, I stopped by two different banks to pick up some halves. First being PNC, and I was told by phone they had $18 worth. Um, and it turns out they had 22. So we went ahead and picked them up. I know there's silver in here. I could hear it when they were counting it out on the counter. Uh, they were at the drive through across an aisle way, um, but I could hear it. So we're gonna hold off on this. But then we have a good mix of halves. I do have one bank rep roll marked 2000 Denver and it sure is. It's a full roll of 2000 Denver's uncirculated BU. Um, and we've got a whole mix of different types of wrappers in here. Some that look fairly old. Um, so I'm hoping that we may end up with another big score here with these. So I'm going to try and figure out a way to set the camera up so that I can capture this without having to hold it in my hand. So I'll be back in just a moment. We're gonna get started with these. We're gonna finish up with this because we know there's silver there. I'm hoping that we find something big. Be right back. Okay, we're gonna try to see if this works. I've got my phone sitting on precariously on top of the uh, hotel room trash can, but it seems to be fairly sturdy, so we're just going to grab a roll. Uh, I will say that there was one roll in here that my employee that drove up here with me did open up and he marked it. And this was the one, um, he marked it with a yellow highlighter. So I know there's nothing in this. Um, but so we'll go ahead and start with that one to make sure that he didn't miss something because he has no idea what he's looking for at all. Okay. Yep. Nothing in there. So, hope everybody's doing well. I'm hoping this will turn into a really good video. Um, but these actually came from a bank I do not have an account with. They were just happy to get rid of them. But she says she had $240 worth and we know that the, the roll of BU-2000Ds doesn't have any silver in it. But I'm excited to get to that bank bag to find out what's in there. At least find one. That way I know. And we might have one. Nope, that's a 72. The lighting in here is not very good. Actually, what year is it? 70 something. 74. But regardless, no silver's in there. But when I called her, asked her if she had any half dollars, she said, how much are you looking for? Which usually means that they have a whole bunch and that it's a dump bank or something like that. I said, uh, I could take a uh, hundred dollars worth or so. And she said, oh, I got you covered. And that made me upset that it was that easy for her to know. And so when I went in, she had $100 worth in a, one of the coin bank trays, and there was multiple different wrappers in there. So I went and said, so you may have had more than this? And she's like, yeah, I got another 140. And I said, like, go ahead and give them to me. She goes, as long as you don't bring them back here, because I'm tired of looking at these things. I said, no problem. So I never even asked for an account number or anything. Never even asked if I had an account with them. Which I would not have lied. So 
I am used to my home setup and this trash can's getting on my nerves. But we do what we gotta do sometimes, right? I uh, hope everybody's staying safe and doing well. I really miss the live streams, everybody. I really, really do. You know what? I haven't opened up one of these types of wrappers yet. Let me try one of these. No difference. Miss hanging out with you guys. Life's crazy. Especially right now. Mrs. Jess getting ready to have shoulder surgery. And by the time this comes out, she may have even had it. Uh, the surgery's not for another week, but um, my schedule, I don't know how long it's going to take for me to be able to get this video up. So we're about a third of the way through here. Yeah, it's harder to put these back into old wrappers than it is new ones. You guys know how quickly I rewrap. And I don't like putting them back into wrappers that they came out of. But it works wonderful because I'm out of town. I don't need to worry about carrying wrappers, etc. Okay, now we are actually one third of the way through. That's eight rolls so far. And that's including the bank wrapped one. So 16 rolls to go. Maybe if this thing goes a little quicker than I anticipate, I can get this uploaded right away. Obviously, I'm not sorting for varieties. And what I'm hoping to do is we, uh, we're actually working overnight tonight. Uh, it's about 5 o'clock in the evening right now. You can't start working until 11. <laughs> and probably finish up around 5 a.m. or so. Um, crash at the hotel for a few hours and then start heading back. And I'm hoping to flip these over and pick up some on my way home. I was actually hoping that I'd get into town a little earlier and uh, hit up a local bank or two here. Small town in Ohio, Steubenville, Ohio, working over at Franciscan University. I do have a four box hunt that I completed 
um, the other day that I have the footage available, but I have not begun to edit that down. So that, that'll be something to look forward to. I may be able to get the editing done on that while I'm home with Mrs. Jazz, like while she's sleeping or something like that. But we've got her surgery. Our son's getting married in about three weeks. Um, my work has been absolutely haywire. So, yeah, there's a lot going on in our lives right now. So, no silver so far. such a good sound when you hear that clink like if you've got a discerning ear you heard it but there's definitely a couple in there I would say do get to the bank bag I'm just gonna reach in grab a few take a look see what if there's there anything there and set them off to the side and they'll just go loose back into the bank bag obviously keeping the silver for me but these all came out of Frederick Maryland These two banks were about a quarter mile apart from each other. I actually saw the bank that I got these rolls from as I was going to PNC. I passed it just before I turned into the PNC parking lot. Hence why I decided to try and give them a call. What do we got? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15 rolls down. Nine more to go. And it's obviously not the huge score that I was hoping it might be. Unless we happen to pick out all the rolls that don't have anything and then we're going to come across the, the score. And you just never know. There could be one roll in here that's completely full of silver. You never know. This one wrapped up weird. This one looks like somebody's been in it a couple times. I wonder if the teller went through these. I asked her if she had any large dollar coins and she says no when they come in I buy them from the, from the vault for myself so I'm hoping she hasn't already gone through these but if she did she did whatever it's all a numbers game it's not if but when you get a score persistence. PPO, as AG Chopsticks would say, persistence, patience, or persistence. Either one pays off. up with this I'm gonna lay down 
take a nap for a couple of hours. There's a Bennigan's in the hotel parking lot that I'll probably grab something to eat at in just a little bit. Just to get some nourishment before we start the long night. Looks like we're down to five rolls left before we get to the bank. Uh-oh, I heard something. I think we got one. Same, maybe not. I swear I heard one though. Yes, yes we do. 1968, we got one. Sweet. All right, we'll set that off to the side since we don't have a full roll there anymore. There's one. And we'll just end up tossing those loose ones back into the bag. Actually, I'll pull one out of the bag to fill that roll up once we get to that. Three rolls remain. And that one came from one of this type of rolls too. Oh, I love that sound. Love that sound. Yeah, I missed my live streams with you guys. We'll get back to it eventually. On a regular basis. Oh, come on. Two. Uh, uh, uh. Two rolls remaining, as the count would say. And the final roll of the box from the second page. Did not hear anything. Okay, so that's going to wrap up that box. But we did get a silver out of it. And we've got an originally bank wrapped 2000 Denver that I'm probably going to keep. 21 year old bank wrapped roll. BU coins. Yeah, I think so. Alright, let's get these back into the box. And now we will. Should I just reach my hand in there or dump them out? I think I'm going to reach my hand in. That's more fun. You hear it? Can you hear that? All right, here's the first handful. And I see a couple. There's one. 1960, I can't see it. Did I say four? Oh, we got a 90 percenter. 
That's a 1964. I can't see if there's a mint mark or not. We got 90% are all right. Let's see what else we got in here. There's one, 68. I thought I saw one more right here. Yep, another 1968. There's three in that first handful. See if I can get that zoomed in a little bit better. A little crooked, but... Hey, there we go. I think I see one right there. Nope, I was mistaken. Nothing there. You know what? That's not working too well. Because you can't see what's in my hand. But we definitely, we got one right here on the end here. A 1966. We got one right here. A 60. Gosh, the lighting is horrible. 68. There's another one here. Another 68. I <laughs> love it, love it, love it. And the final handful which I see at least two. 66. And a, what is it? What is it? Focus. 68, another 68. And that is going to wrap us up let me pull this down here and get it into my hands where we can do a proper recap. So, we did end up with a 1964. 90%er might be able to see the mint mark on this now, if there is one. I don't think there is. It's kind of grody. And then we ended up with two, four, six, eight, 40 percenters which is fabulous. I know we had a 66 in there. Most of them were 68s. There's the 66 bottom right. 68, 68, 68, 68. Another 66. And two more 68s there. So, eight 40 percenters. 190. Never hurts to call an ass. So, this is just another average stacker saying, I hope you're having a great day. Stay safe, hug a loved one. Remember, you can't find it if you don't hunt for it. Take care, everybody. We'll see you soon.